So this weekend I went to yet another fundraiser bingo. I am bingoed out. And when I go there, half are women and half are my patients and the other half then figure out I'm a gynecologist and then there goes my bingo game because I can't pay attention to anything after that. I get asked the menopause and the perimenopause stuff, but there's always one that kind of comes up. And you know, I'm in this age group where unfortunately a lot of my cohort, the people that are around me, my friends, my acquaintances, the people I go to PTA bingo with, they're getting breast cancer, which sucks a whole lot. In the middle of their treatment, they're done their treatment, they have medications that are pushing them into menopause, or maybe they even had surgical intervention that's forced them into menopause because they have estrogen receptor positive breast cancer. And it's like this, this terrible takeover of your system that instantly you're both scared because you're asking for it, you're choosing it, while also miserable from it. But there are new guidelines that have come to help. And if we don't keep talking about it, it's not going to get out there. We're not going to initiate these treatments effectively. And women are going to suffer for longer. But some of the most recent intervention recommendations are to offer topical vaginal estrogen in the vagina in order to treat the local tissue, not systemic, local, even if you have hormone receptor positive breast cancer. And this is also endorsed by some of the big oncology forums that are out there, as well as the American Neurologic Association, because we know that vaginal dryness itself is really difficult for both comfort and for intercourse, but the urologic side effects that come from thinning of the vagina and the urethral tissue and the bladder really kind of kick up your risk factor for infections and even urosepsis down the road. So we need to keep talking. If it's at bingo. We got to keep the conversation going. So I'm basically inviting you in on this conversation because you need to talk about it with the people that are in your life. And if you're affected by this with the oncology and breast specialist, because these are the newest guidelines is to consider this for your benefit.